A quantum computer with one million qubits is this decade's technological holy grail. With the help of photonics, Xanadu is building a universal and fault-tolerant quantum computer capable of scaling to one million qubits. A single module of the computer consists of four components. The state preparation component is where many qubits are generated with some probability. Then, a multiplexer increases this probability to make sure that a qubit always emerges. In the stitcher, the qubits are entangled into a special quantum state required for universal and fault-tolerant computation. Finally, the quantum processing unit, or QPU, measures the state, using the outcomes both to correct for errors and perform the computation. Let's look at each component in more detail. First up is state preparation. While Xanadu's current photonic chips work like little quantum computers themselves, they are also components of a more powerful machine. They can be used to prepare robust photonic qubits, special states of many photons with built-in error correction ability. A qubit can be created by counting the photons in all but one of the outputs of a state preparation chip. Photons are counted by transition edge sensors, the only part of the computer operating at low temperatures. Seeing a specific photon number pattern indicates that a qubit has been successfully generated and is ready for use at the remaining port. Next is the multiplexer. To boost the likelihood that a qubit emerges, many state preparation chips must be multiplexed. This means they are connected to a large network of optical switches which route successfully prepared states to the next step of the computation. Still, multiplexing cannot boost the probability of getting a qubit to 100%. That would require far too many chips, detectors, and switches. Instead, the system can make up for the occasional no-show by swapping in an ordinary squeeze state. While squeeze states are not able to correct errors by themselves, they still behave like qubits and can be generated without fail whenever you need them. Let's move on to the stitcher. Any useful quantum computer needs to create entanglement. Instead of entangling qubits as we go, there is a lot to gain by generating all the entanglement at the beginning. In the stitching component, beam splitters knit together the qubits in space and time to produce a three-dimensional, highly entangled state called a cluster state. Only a few layers of this state exist at any given time, simplifying its construction. The three dimensions help give the quantum computer its fault tolerance. While a small error can be caught and corrected by a single qubit, a larger error can be flagged by looking at a group of many qubits. A box of physical qubits comprises a single logical qubit. Finally, we arrive at the QPU, or Quantum Processing Unit. In the cluster state model, seeing is computing. A measurement of the state isn't simply a readout of the computation, it is the computation. Measuring the electromagnetic field of the pulse of light that makes up each node in the cluster, done with room temperature photodetectors, has the same effect as applying a quantum gate. A quantum algorithm then becomes a recipe of which measurements to perform in the QPU. This model of quantum computing is completely equivalent to the traditional gate model. No single module can hold one million qubits. To scale efficiently, the qubits must be distributed among many modules networked together. Here, photonics has a distinct advantage, the ability to send qubits between modules using optical fibers, the same type that brings the internet to your home or office. Also vital is the ability to mass produce all the required chips. Each component in Xanadu's quantum computer can be manufactured at scale using standard processes and foundries, the same ones that make the chips inside your phone or laptop. These techniques have been refined over many decades in the electronics and telecommunications industry. The ability to leverage mass manufacturing and networkability leads to an exciting conclusion. Photonics is leading the way to a fault-tolerant quantum computer with one million qubits this decade. Learn more at xanadu.ai.